Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'll take these two Goodwill finds and make something really beautiful with them. Here, I have this container. It's a cylinder shaped candle holder, vase, whatever you want it to be. And I paid $2.09 for it. And I see these all the time at Goodwill, so you guys will have an excellent chance of finding these. Now here's a small candle holder, and this one only cost 89 cents. And I actually went to Goodwill looking for something shaped like this. I shopped several Goodwills just like I shopped several Dollar Trees. So yeah, I'm always lucky to find what I'm looking for. So now I go ahead and remove the tags and then clean both pieces. Okay everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, both pieces are absolutely clean. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and start here. So what I wanna do is decorate this with crushed glass and mirror. And you guys know that's one of my favorite combinations. Here I have a pack of mirror tiles. And I just have a simple design in mind. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut some strips of mirror tile. And just simply fold it back onto itself. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna start out with two rows. Once you fold it back, it cuts so easy. Just like that, like butter. <laughs> now I have two designs in mind. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and top this off at the very top. The one design is similar to the city skate that you guys love so much. So I can just put mirror towels up around it in different heights, or I can go this direction with some mirror towel, but let's see. I think I wanna go ahead and uh, do the cityscape style, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this on top. Okay, so this is what it looks like all the way around. So now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the base. So I'm gonna start here. I'm actually gonna start from the bottom to try and make sure that I get it straight. That's my first piece. Now I'm going to go in with a shorter piece. So now all I need to do is line this up with this piece and it'll be straight. I'm done adding the buildings with the mirror tiles and it already looks amazing. Next, I'll add crushed glass using Mod Podge. Next, I'm going to pour some Mod Podge in a small container and then brush it onto my vase. All right, so I'm gonna put the Mod Podge in here and then brush it on. Here's a container of crushed glass that I'll be using. After I brush on a good amount of Mod Podge, I pour the crushed glass on top of it and then pat it down. This is how it looks after one layer of the crushed glass has been applied. I'll come back after it dries and fill in any gaps that may appear. Now I'm going to apply two strips of mirror tile on what will be the base for my candle holder. And then after that, I'll add some crushed glass to it as well. Okay. 
I'm going to make sure that the crushed glass doesn't go past the top because it will be the base to my candle holder. Okay, so now I'll put this aside to dry. Now I'll pick this up and take a smaller brush and dip it into the small holes that need more crushed glass. Okay guys, I'm back and both pieces are completely dry. So now what I want to do is go ahead and seal the crushed glass in place so we don't lose any. So here I have some water. I'm just going to pour it into this ladle piece here. And a little bit of Mod Podge. Okay, so what I have here is about two-thirds water to one-third Mod Podge. And you can actually go a little thinner than that if you want to. I have this piece of cloth. I'm going to put it here so it can catch the water that drips off. So you just take your brush, dip it into the mixture, and dab it on the crushed glass. And that's all it is to it. Okay, for this piece you do the same thing. You can actually turn it this way. So I'm going to continue to add the mixture to my pieces, let that dry, then I'll come back and glue both pieces together. Okay, so the crushed glass is sealed on both pieces, so now what I'm going to do is glue this on the very bottom. So I'm going to take my favorite glue and put it right along the base. So now I'll let this completely dry. After that, I'll put a candle on the inside and let you see what it looks like. And here's my stunning new candle holder on display. It turned out sparkly and bright. And again, I love pairing mirror tiles and crushed glass together. It gives it such an elegant look. And here's what it looks like at night, all lit up. And of course, I used a Bath & Body Works candle on the inside. That's the reason I made the candle holder. Not too bad for two pieces of glass that I found at Goodwill that cost me around $3. Okay, everyone, this concludes my video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one.